This is my succulent haul for the week. So in this video, we're going to look at these succulents uh, to see if this is a bargain or a ripoff. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. And I bought them from different places. Some from my local hardware store. The others, I got a budget giving me a kiss here. And the others from my local nursery. And the prices varies. Succulents are just getting scarce nowadays and it's getting so expensive. So when they do have deliveries, you gotta be the first ones there or else they just go uh, like a flash, just like that. You're late in a couple of minutes when they take it out on the display area. They're gone. They're gone, baby. Gone. So you got to be quick. So today, my succulents, I was a bit late. So I, all I've got now are leftovers. And I also have to go to my other local nurseries and to buy them. So now I'm going to show you whether they are a bargain or a ripoff. I'm not one for buying online because I like to see my plant when I'm buying them. So it's like I'm forming a bond with them from the very first day I laid eyes on them. And this one comes in an arrangement. Normally I would buy them individually, but this time I was a bit late. So yeah I know so <laughs> I didn't get there in time and most of the good stuff's gone so this is what I'm left with and some of them I have to go to my local nurseries uh, nursery actually nurseries yeah so scared yeah I know mommy was gone and you're so scared I, I wasn't long but anyway my badge is talking to you as well but anyway so this one's these arrangements I got from my local hardware store, which is beautiful. I've been after some more PVN because I haven't got enough PVN. They're so beautiful and also the ones I've got, I'm still propagating. And they're quite slow growing. They're not growing as fast as I want to. Some of them would only have one plant, others or a couple would have pups, but they're very slow. They do strike up quite easily. This, uh, okay, let's just focus on this one. They do grow really quick. So if you take a leaf, like there's a couple of leaves that was broken off. I don't know where it went. Go down to right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the hard part about doing this video. I got a budgie and I got people in here talking. Okay, so this, <laughs> so they do strike up really quickly. That means they grow babies really quick, but uh, having them growing as a cluster and having babies so you can take cuttings are quite a bit slow. Well, for me anyway, so I don't know about other people's experience, but for me, they're quite slow. So I thought since I can't find individual ones, I'm just going to buy the arrangement. And this arrangement costs $35. And I look at it this way. So if you add up the pot, which is this one's got ceramic pot. Uh, the other one's got a wooden pot. This is a beautiful wooden pot. Look at that. I love wood. And then anyway, the arrangements has got different uh, echeverias and sedevaria and crassula. I can see crassula here. And that one is sidum pachyphilum. Uh, okay, so this one is, I'm not too sure whether this is a topsy-turvy or a blue cloud. But I think blue cloud is a bit shorter and fatter, so maybe it's a topsy-turvy. Uh, that one is a bluebird. Hang on, let's go have a look at you. Is there another bluebird somewhere? Yeah, that's a um, uh, bluebird. So this is quite a beautiful plant and it's quite rare. You, they don't have it all the time as an individual piece as well. So it's worth buying it. This one is Cedeveria Leticia. You can never have, or one can never have enough Cedeveria Leticia. And of course, PVN. So the whole arrangement, you've got five plants, including the pot. So if you divide $35, I don't know, how much is that? $7? Something like that. So that's still pretty cheap. So it works out $7 for each plant. And this is quite a big plant as well. So that is a bargain. 
and this one I bought this one last week for six dollars from a local hardware store and look at the size so size comparison so if you go on the left at seven dollars and the one on the right is six dollars I don't know which one you're gonna get but to me this arrangement here is definitely a bargain also this plant here is uh, topsy-turvy I haven't got um, I have one topsy-turvy or one plant that my neighbor gave me and I have a few pups from that and it's I've reduced the whole thing so this is a good opportunity for me so I've got uh, a few of them now so I got one two three four topsy-turvy that I can actually do some a video with you to show you how to grow them big and not small because most of my topsy-turvy have shrunk so now uh, this one the Leticia as well is a bargain of course because normally you pay I think they charge you how much is it? $8 or $5 or not for just one plant like one like that so and there's a few in there and it's flowering as well and you can get these leaves on the side here and strike them and they will grow this one is a chivalria a ginta or a ginta i haven't got one and then now i'm so happy i've been after one for a while and you can see that see look at the chiseling on the surface look at that it's like the facets it's just so beautiful and i always like buying two of a kind that way i can propagate so one i'll probably pluck some of this from here and propagate that one but then again that one is already a mutant see look look there's a little funny shape leaf in the inside so i'd probably i don't know i'm gonna end up not <laughs> propagating any i just grow them you know they're so pretty to pull apart and then this crassula uh undulata so this one here uh, they, they are very hardy plant from my area. I only got one crassula because I've been breaking it off. Every time I grow some, I've been giving it away, uh, making an arrangement and giving it away to family and friends. So this one as well, hang on, where are you? This one is a Chivaria lo uh, Lois. Uh, and I haven't got a Lois. And... I've been after one as well for a while. So the universe works in mysterious ways. Sometimes you don't get what you want because um, God says, okay, here's one for you that you've been after for a while. And there you go. You'll have to excuse the budgie if you can hear him talking. He's just talking in the background. If I'm talking, he talks as well. So anyway, so this is what I got. The big bowls for $35 each, which is just so pretty. And I'm going to pull them apart, of course. And repot them and because i can see some soils in there there's a lot of perlite i think on the soil and when i water them they normally float away so i really hate perlite in that sense no offense perlite uh sellers but it's just for me it's just for that fact that every time i water the perlite i have to chase it away because it always ends up in the ground so now these ones I got from a local hardware store and well Bunnings okay I'm gonna say now here in Australia so I got these ones from Bunnings uh, this is um, Cremnosidum a uh, little gem and it's got a little baby surprise inside there look I don't know what that is but probably that looks like a prolifica to me and also uh, yeah that's just just one of the leaves here I think that fallen off so um that is i think ten dollars and this one is a crassula socialis this is the only thing i don't like about these ones with no name because i have to go online and look for the name so right now i do a question mark because i'm not sure this one is crassula expansa and i think i sort of got it right but if not then you can forgive me but i need to give them a name or else when i grow them and propagate them I don't know what I'm growing or where it came from and that sort of thing. So it's important to have a name. Even if you have to come up with a name, if you can't find it online, uh, always give your plants name. So that way when you're propagating them or giving them to people, you'll have an idea of what you've given them. So if they might turn around and say, oh, have you got more of this? And then they'd say, oh, what this? You remember in... 2020 in September you gave me this cutting for this I really love it but I want more but then I don't know what it's called because it didn't have a name 
So there you go. So now this one is Orostakis uh, Furusii. Is that Furusii or Furusi? Can you see what I see? No, I don't know. But I, <laughs> it is so cute. Look at that. It's so cute. And they are actually dormant in winter. So in winter they go to sleep. So you might get worried. You're growing them in spring and summer and they're growing happily and beautiful. And all of a sudden, boom, they'll have a flower and then they die. But then the other one started uh dying off as well and then you think you've lost your plant don't don't uh, especially in cold areas i don't know how they grow in tropical areas because i think they originated from japan but anyways this one has uh nice little tiny rosettes yeah so look at that it's just so gorgeous and i think this is like a carpet one sort of spreading growing i don't think they're the dropping one there's another one that sort of drops down i don't know if that's the same one but anyway i just have to give it a name or else i wouldn't know what it is but this one of course i don't have to give a name because i already know what it is but i still give it a name as to say cremnosedum uh little gem number three because this is now my third strain and every strain is different. Some are big, some are small. I even have a variegated one. So it's important to put a name. So I'm going to be putting a name on that one. This one now is a crested one. This is $3. Tiny. Look at that. It's $3 with a tiny little thing. But then if you want something, you got to pay for it. I don't know what it is. But it looks like a... I don't know. <laughs> it looks like... Could be anything, but it's just the fact that it's crested or fan shaped like. That's why I bought it. So that's three dollars. So I reckon that's still rip off or a bargain. But anyway, you let me know whether that's a bargain for the tiny little drop. Is that a bargain? I don't know. So to me. I don't know. Okay, you decide. I'm not going to say anything. Now, these ones are, okay. Oh, okay. I'll go with this one first. This is a Chiviria Pinwheel Revolution. I have uh, quite uh, a few, not a few, but I only got a couple of Pinwheel Revolution, maybe about three or four plants because they form a cluster. I still have to separate them this year. So I don't really have many plants in that sense. And when they're so pretty growing clustered up, you don't want to separate them. So I don't know. So I try and sneak in from the back and steal a baby from underneath or something like that. But this one, this Echeveria Pinwheel Revolution, I bought it because you know why. And I paid good money for it. Well, I mean, good money is $11. It's $11. I got it from my local nursery. Uh, and only because the tip, look at that. I don't know if that's normal or that's a variegated one. And I am a sucker for variegated plants. Anything that's variegated uh, or mutated or crested, I love. So I like weird things because probably I'm also weird. That's why I like them. And I don't mind you calling me weird. I'm proud to be weird. Anyway, okay, so this one is, I haven't got enough Gymnocalisium damsii variety rotundalum, 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 okay. I just love them. I think when it comes to cactus or cacti, this is my favorite, uh, uh, the Gymnocalisium uh, you are Gymnocalisium, yes, the Gymnocalisium variety. See, look at that. So this one, uh, Mehanovicia. Okay, so this one is, where are you, Mehanovicia? This one is sort of like different. It looks like a hybrid of Rathandalum and Gymnocalisium. So look, Gymnocalisium at the back there. See? And then this one, it says... Uh, Gymnocalisium mehanovicii, sorry, mehanovicii. Both of them are mehanovicii, but they look different. Look at that. So I already got a variegated one of these outside, which wasn't variegated when I bought it, but then now it's variegated. So I just love, 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 love colorful plants. I don't like boring plants. I want them to color up. 
so it's like rainbow color okay so that suits my personality and my weirdness <laughs> so anyway this one now okay so i bought three i paid eleven dollars for them and this one i got from my local hardware store this is only okay my hands is dying this is only six dollars and i think that is a bargain see but this one also alo cha cha i killed my alo cha cha so now I have to pay $11 for a new alo cha cha. So it's a matter of perspective whether you say it's a ripoff or a bargain. But to me, it's a bar off, <laughs> bargain and rip off. <laughs> because if you want it, doesn't matter how much it costs, you gotta pay for it and it'll still be a bargain. But anyway, so this one's now is new i haven't got this one this is called a chaviria silver star and they're like five dollars so again one to keep and one to torture now this is string of pearls i got heaps of string of pearls but i only have one stock i only got one stock of string of pearls so i really like to have another strain so i'm just curious to see how this would grow so the strain i have i've got it growing to go pink or red but this one uh i don't know it's a di i like different strains so i like getting plants from different people so i don't like it when someone says to me oh have you already got this well i say well i haven't got one that came from you so no i haven't got it so and then i bought two of them because i'm giving one away to a friend of mine and i'm also um i am not hacking the one i've got because i don't really have that much well, you can just break off something and give it to her but then if it dies then i'll feel bad so i'd prefer something that's already rooted and okay now this one i love 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 this one this is also 35 dollars and again the standard one two three four five plants or is that six no five yeah five plants okay so you got leticia this is opalina but this one is weird at opalina so this is uh, got distorted form. So you know me, mutant and crested or variegated. So this one is Pachyveria scadicarii. But then the variegated form of scadicarii is called Albo carinata. And this one, of course, has got a wart on the side or growing funny because it's variegated. So once they go variegated, apparently... This is what I've learned from Mr. Google, is that they are called Albo Carenata. So which is, oh, that one, okay, that one's got a little, oops, see my budgie's been here. Okay, so he hasn't beaten anything off yet. So that one, uh, see the variegation there? So you can see, see variegation over there. And this one, this all go pink. I will take a picture of the one outside. It's just, I've got one Albo Carinata and it's got a couple of small pups. But then this one now, I can probably pitch. Oh, look, a baby. <gasps> a baby. There's a baby underneath. Okay, but I'm not touching you. I'm just going to leave you. And also this one is Sidum Lucidum. Uh, orbicolata or sedum lucidum, yeah, rounded one. This is just so chubby, it just feels so nice to touch it. So, anyway, oh, this one's okay. Pachypitum compactum for five dollars. Every time I get Pachypitum compactum, I see Pachypitum compactum, I have to buy it. I have to buy it. I mean, for five dollars, I mean, that's a bargain. It's gonna take me a long time to grow it. And also, look, there's already a couple of um. Uh, leaves that are growing one has got a little bump or a baby the other one that's just roots so that's not gonna take on that's not gonna get another that's sterile so and also a couple of leaves that's broken off but anyway doesn't matter what can you do so this one is one of my favorite plants i can't say the favorite because i have so many favorite ones so they're also beautiful which one can you pick from your kids who's your favorite kid you can't say and I'm the same. This one now is, I have one strain of Sedivaria Golden Goddess. Okay, so the Golden Goddess looks very similar to uh, Sedivaria Pats Pink or Sedum Pats Pink. And 
So I like to get the different strains. So I got one strain. Now this is my second strain of Sedivaria Goddess. So now for $4.99, I reckon that's a bargain. You normally get one plant online for, I don't know, they sell it as a cuttings or something like that. I don't know, but I think they're, they're much smaller plant. So to me, for $5, that's still a bargain. And then this one, this is a Grenovia Aurea. Look at the beautiful rosette. I only have one plant. And people have given me similar looking plants and if it doesn't have a name because they don't even know the name then I can't say it is what it is so now this is the second Grenovia I've got that has got a name that way I can grow one to propagate grow them somewhere shaded and the other one I'm going to grow it in a pretty pot and uh, expose it to the element and I just saw something that made me smile oh, look at the babies oh hello but we can't touch the babies we have to let the babies grow and we harvest the babies when do we harvest the baby at the end of uh, autumn I think autumn is when I harvest them so I pluck the babies off and dry them off and put them in the soil and then leave them there to stew over during winter and when oh look i found another leaf over here okay that drop okay so and when oh hang on hang on i can't help myself okay there you go another leaf and a dry leaf there you go so it will propagate that one so when they do grow or torture this is now stressing them out i think they form beautiful purple rosettes so i think that's the whole idea so that's why i want to get two so now i've got two i'm all set and so that's it folks okay when i say a bargain okay what i meant by bargain is see, just like this one is that really a bargain compared to that one so say for example that one we have to put a price on that one at seven dollars and this one is six dollars so that big one is a bargain so this one is not a bargain that's just standard now this one now is echeveria neon breakers okay so you buy them they're about 18 dollars it costs 18 dollars now i got this one last week for six dollars so this is a bargain um now this one oh, hang on i'm trying to reach out here now this one is a Chiveria frosty crested i have a big Chiveria frosty crested and this one is a small one i could not i had a baby i had leaves plucked from it and grown but the leaves that grown from it were not crested anymore so they're just the normal standard one so i really am desperate for a spare one because the mother is now big i could not take it out because for fear that it might die on me if i expose it to the frost so i thought i better get another one and i was so happy when I saw this, this is the first one I grabbed off the tray when I saw it. So I think this one is a bargain for $6 or $5.99. So do you count one cent? Can you actually get change for a cent? Yes, you can if you pay by card. I suppose you're only paying $5.99. So there you go, folks. That's it. So it's up to you. Do you think I got a bargain or I got ripped off? Keep it. You want to talk? You talk to them. Hello. Do you want some succulents? You're just giving them kisses. Hey, give mommy a kiss. Okay, that's enough now. Okay, let's go talk about succulents, Pedro. So these are my week's succulent haul.